Um, in a previous video, we uh, created this um, cage that had a left-hand side and a right-hand side, like a one-third, two-thirds split uh, pane, and uh, the left-hand side just disappeared when it was um, too small to display the content. So in this video, we're going to add a couple more things to the header uh, and the footer. Uh, for instance, a couple of links that would allow you to uh, you know, interact with uh, the content on the page or navigate. Uh, around different places on the on the web page, so let's uh, focus on adding some links uh, here on the left and the right. Yeah, so on the uh, header side, uh, right now we just have uh, this div that these two divs that represent the content for the left and the right hand side, and uh, they're in separate columns. This is on the left column. This is on the right column uh, of sizes uh, four and eight, um, which uh, they are a third and two-thirds respectively uh, of 12. Right? Is a third of 12 or is four and two-thirds of 12 is eight. Um, so let's uh, add a couple of things here. For instance, a, a hyperlink that would allow you maybe to navigate uh, in, uh, back uh, to the previous page. Uh, so to do that, perhaps we could do uh, span and, and use one of the glyphicons uh, perhaps the chevron, there we go, chevron left, right, and if we uh, render that, uh, there it is, um, but um, what we want to do is maybe pull that to the left hand side, so pull left, uh, there it is, uh, but notice that it has no um, vertical uh, or um, ver vertical spa white spacing, right? So to do, to accomplish that, let's uh, add, uh, let's wrap this inside of a, a div, right? So that we can, oops, I think it did. There it is. Uh, that is going to allow us to add the uh, vertical spacing. And for that, we have navbar text is going to allow us to do that. Okay, there it is. Uh, and let's add this pull to left actually to this outer this outer div. All right. And we want something similar, uh, but on the right-hand side, uh, maybe uh, like a plus or something that will allow you to create new instances. Um, so let's change this and pull this to the right. And maybe put maybe, you know, like a plus sign I think it's okay. It's the checkbox. Uh, there it is. Or we can use the plus sign, right? If we want to make this like a, uh, if we want to add a new instance of something, uh, we can do something similar for the right hand side. Uh, I'll let this. Uh, we can copy it and, and paste it right here for the left hand side. Like to to navigate back um, and. And maybe uh, uh, this uh, plus on the right hand side uh, would allow us to, there we go, allow us to create new instances of something, right? And notice that we have the same behavior of, oops, something didn't work, right? Notice this this wrapping uh, effect, right? It's, it's making everything too big. Uh, so to fix that, perhaps we can rearrange uh, this, put this first, right, this pull right for the header. Right, so that that gets pulled to the right hand side, and then the header wraps around the location of that of that plus. There we go. That's, that's that seems to, uh, this, that seems to be uh, working nicely. Okay, uh, at the at the bottom in the footer, uh, perhaps what we uh, could do is. Um, uh, is is add is, instead of uh, instead of having one uh, or two two different footers right one for the left and one for the right uh, perhaps we could have just a single uh, just a single uh, footer right uh, container uh, fluid and not different columns um, uh, for the left and right instead. What we could do is perhaps have um, 
um, uh, like tabs, right, that will allow you to navigate uh, across different sections of the uh, of the page, right, of the of the website. So to uh, to accomplish that, what we actually could do is split this into um, you know four equal parts, maybe uh, three, three and three, and several of these, right. Uh, and instead of instead of being, you know, these um, uh, splitting it up into a third, uh, two third kind of thing, uh, what we could do is split it up into I mean, four equal parts, right? And not hide these. Let's not hide these. And uh, the left hand side uh, always show those four options. And instead of targeting only the, the small screens. Actually, we're going to target all the screens, right? From the small, extra small screens all the way to the largest screen, right? So there we go. So we always want this layout regardless of the size, right? From from small screens all the way up, right? So if we refresh now, notice that regardless of how small this is, right, we always have have these four columns. And obviously, we wouldn't have actual text. Uh, I mean, we wouldn't have a, a footers here. Instead, what we're going to have uh, these um, the the uh, math bar, just plain old text. We don't want this to be any, any bigger. Right? So it's just plain old text. Uh, uh, no brand, no branding here, and and these could be just plain old spans uh, with some Glyphicon uh, art, right? Perhaps some Glyphicon um, cog or something, right? That uh, will allow you to configure something or like settings right and let's copy this uh, several times right obviously we would have different different uh, glyphicon for different actions uh, I guess we missed out on okay sorry this should be div I must have copied wrong text Copy that over, text, text, text. That's going to add the vertical white spaces. 